Good afternoon, I'm John Kelly. Hey, hold on a second, I needed to stand up. <laughs> Are you ready now? Should we start now? Are you ready, John? I'm ready. Hey, maybe that's the way we should start. That's, let's start like that. Hey, you ready? I don't I'm know. Are you ready? I don't know. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Hey, let's go. Coming to you live from Imperial Nurseries. Well, not quite live because this is on tape. True. Okay, delayed from Imperial Nurseries. I'm John Kelly. This is Brent Grunfeld. How you doing? Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day and watching our video. Uh, we've just toured the farm here in Connecticut and we'd love to show you some beautiful plants that we found. John, what do you, what do you want to start with? Well, I think I'm going to start with Nishiki Willow. Uh, not one, but two. Here, I'll hold the other one for you. And what we have here is the uh, uh, Nishiki Willow and we have the Flamingo. The reason why we have both up here is to offer a comparison to our customers so they can see the, the pink variegation in the, uh, the Flamingo. Uh, a little more distinct than it is on the uh, Nishiki. Brent, All right. What do you got? Ah, Sorbia. It's a nice warm day up here. Did you hear that truck over there? Psh. This is Sorbia. It sounds like sorbet. Uh, this is a beautiful plant uh, that gets a white bottle brush flower in the spring. The new growth comes out with uh, tinges of reds and oranges. Uh, beautiful fern-like foliage and only gets about three feet tall. Great addition to the landscape. Nice. Well, Brent, the sun's out today, and I think I'm going to have a sunshine daydream. That's right. We got sunshine daydream uh, roses, beautiful yellow rose, maintenance-free, uh, fragrant. It's also part of our Plants That Work Novalis program. You know, it is a little warm out today, so I'm thinking about having a snowstorm. This is a brand new plant for us. This is going to be ready in a couple weeks. It's a uh, snowstorm calicarpa, beautiful purple berry in the fall, gets uh, three by three. The foliage comes out uh, as a pure white and then models uh, as it uh, ages. So this is a great new addition, Calicarpus Snowstorm. Brent, I think I got one better on you. Cool Splash Dera Villa. That's right, on a nice summer day, nothing better than a nice taking a nice cool splash. Beautiful variegation, uh, works well in the shade, gets a small yellow flower on it. Uh, doesn't get the uh, spotting that you would get in the uh, variegated red twig dogwood. You know, as you're taking a cool splash, I love these puns, by the way, as you're taking a cool splash in your pool, what would be better than having a beautiful planter around your poolside? These are uh, our 16-inch fiber pot planters, uh, very similar to the Hanging Basque prog program we have, but these are absolutely gorgeous. We have, I believe, maybe six or eight different varieties. These are absolutely spectacular. Just uh, take them in, sell them right out. Brent, I really admire how quick you are, but not quite as quick as the quick fire. Take notice of the buds, beautiful buds starting to form on the quick fire. Uh, you'll be able to enjoy the color on this through the summer months. Uh, they're already in part of the uh, Proven Winter program. You know, I've got two plants I want to talk about. Since John's going bananas over his little, uh, his puns, here's going bananas uh, daylilies. This is the going bananas from Proven Winter, continuous bloomer uh, through uh, all the summer. It's got a beautiful, large yellow flower, and it keeps going. But since we're talking about bananas, here's another banana. This is hardy banana, Musa Baju. Uh, th we have these in the uh, Novalis plants at work, 19 centimeter, and also another and seti uh and seti well and setia is there an ia on the end of that I'm not sure yeah there's an e but i have to say setia and a set all right well this is a red banana this get the foliage on this gets huge these are great in uh, containers as well as in the ground this one's not hardy but great for container plants and for those of you that think imperial is out of roadies hey we got them Beautiful three-gallon basalt rhododendron with a nice flush on it. And not to be outdone, we also have beautiful five-gallon Cunningham White. They're ready for shipping as soon as you're ready to order them. Another great new plant that uh, some of you have already gotten this spring is the uh, Philly Series Crepe Myrtles. Uh, Zone 5 Hardy. We have two varieties. There's the Philly Red and the Philly Violet. This particular one is the Violet, and this is going to bloom all summer for you. I'm sure a few of you have already noticed, and you probably have your curiosity peaked, what this is in front. It's not just a gold thread, it's Paul's glory gold thread. That's right, Paul was in his glory when he found this product and decided to name it after himself. And that's very true. 
Next thing is the beautiful 10 gallon Tamukiyama, no, excuse me, Anabi Shidari, Japanese maple. Uh, we have a great crop of Anabi Shidari, Red Select, Tamukiyamas in 10 gallons. Check these out, great landscape size, absolutely spectacular. What else, John? Well, I think people are looking for a way to create a sensation in their garden center. What better way to create a sensation than have a shining sensation with Julia? Part of the Novalis program, uh, bud in bloom right now, beautiful foliage that will carry on through the summer. John, let's wrap this up. You guys have plenty of, of things to do, but I'd like to do it with a knockout. Oh, that would be a knockout tree. Uh, this is our five gallon knockout tree. Uh, these things are bud and bloom, absolutely spectacular, great for containers, great to go in the ground, ready to ship. So John, is there anything else you want to talk about or are we going to wrap it up? Well, I think I have one more thing to add. Okay. Brent, we all know we're coming up on Memorial Day and I think it's really important that we uh, take a moment to just mention our troops. Um, that's what Memorial Day is all about. Absolutely. But not only our troops, but I think our, their families as well because their families are, are sacrificing as well as uh, our men and women that are overseas with the military. Absolutely. So I'd just like to pay my respects to everybody that's in the uh, armed forces and uh, say thank you. Brent? Happy Memorial Day. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Amen.